Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be talking about some of the pros and some of the cons of using a grow tent. So a grow tent is basically a uh, tent that has reflective film on the inside and is ideally light tight on the outside. Um, they are put together with very simple pieces of uh, PVC and or metal poles with connection joints. You don't really need any tools or anything like that. So some of the pros that we'll go through will have to do with the fact that you know, these are very portable. You can take them with you in a car and set them up anywhere. Um, they don't make any damage to the house. So if you don't want to put any screws in the walls or holes in the wall, they're you know, really nice for that. If you have nice finishes in your house and you're not trying to you know, uh, put any kind of permanent structure up and you want to do some house plants or something like that in the winter, they're a great option. Um, they come in every shape and size. As small, we have a couple in here just to show you how small they box down and how portable they are. Um, I think this one's just two by four and you can see how little room it takes up. This is a 90 by 90, so a little smaller. Um, so keep that in mind um, that they are extremely portable. I would recommend a grow lab or grow tent for anybody um, that wants to do some experimental you know, breeding or if you need a veg tent, a clone tent. Um, they also get big enough for definitely using for flowering. Um, in general, they all come with ports so that you can vac uh, use your ventilation easily. They come with power ports so that you can run your power in and out without any issue. Um, this makes it really simple to hook up air-cooled lights or hook up carbon filters for filtration. They're all rated to handle quite a bit of weight. So, you know, if you have some of those bigger magnum reflectors, the, the nicer models especially can easily handle those, as well as some pretty de decent sized carbon filters can be mounted from their actual supports. They give you extra bars so that you can, you know, move your lights wherever you need to, which is nice because they're very versatile. You can have a big light and a T5 in a tent and it's no issue hanging them. Um, so they're, you know, in that regard, if you're looking for just to get your feet wet, that's a great option. Or if you're, like I said, a rental, um, that's also a really good idea. Some of the cons I would say about uh, some of these tents would just be they're restrictive in size. Uh, if you have a weird shape like an L or just a weird corner of a basement that you're trying to utilize, they don't really make them in odd shapes. They're all pretty much rectangles. Uh, some of them are the squares, so that maybe gives you a little bit of leeway, but uh, they do restrict your size a little bit and shape. Once you buy these tents, they're not extremely cheap, so you know if you can build a room, it would definitely save you some money. But once you get the tent, you're kind of stuck with it. If you don't plan on getting bigger or if you plan on using it for something later down the road, that's not a big deal. But if it's going to be your you know, uh, passion to do this for a long time, a lot of times you'll end up getting a tent and then realizing that you want something you know, bigger or you want to use, utilize the space in a different way and then you're stuck with this expensive tent that you might not be able to use. So uh, um, keep that in mind. Some of the other cons, I would say, they don't really have great ports for ventilation when it comes to air conditioning. Some of the portable units, they don't really have holes for those, so you might need to modify them, and considering they're expensive, it kind of hurts to have to cut into them or anything like that. Uh, because they are somewhat restrictive in space, once you get that full, you know, you're kind of stuck in there, and if you need to put a dehumidifier or something in there, you are you might have an issue with floor space. Um, so maybe oversize it just to be safe. Don't go as small as you need. Maybe get a little bit bigger just so you have a little bit of room to move around in there. Um, and then humidity can be an issue in there. Light tightness is only something to keep in mind. The cheaper models don't cover their zippers up very well with flaps and things like that. So you'll get a little bit of light peeking through. If you put those cheaper models inside of a pitch black room, it doesn't seem to really matter. But if you need it to be out in a room that is getting external light, um, definitely look into the higher end models that spend a little bit more energy on their stitching and their light type proofing of their zippers and things like that. Um, they do make them with a couple extra features like windows. Some of them come with windows. Some of them can be extended upward up as tall as 10 feet, which is pretty nice for higher ceiling spaces. Um, so there's a lot of options to choose from. Um, and uh, in general, they seem to really just fit a niche for somebody if you're you know, needing something portable. Um, if not, recommend probably building a room. So I hope this video helped you guys out. We have a ton of models of these tents on our websites, a bunch of different brands. They make them in all shapes and sizes for all different purposes. They even make some that are specifically for cloning that hold have racks built into them that come with the tents. They make some of them specifically for drying that hold a perfect drying rack, things like that. So in general, they're just really cool overall tools in the toolbox. Um, hope this video helped you guys out. Come check our website out, 4hydroponics.com, and we'll see you next time.